Hi everybody! So we're going to tackle the part of health that deals with the chemical side of the products that we use. So of course having a healthy lifestyle that not only includes your diet but it includes your sleep, exercise, sunshine, the people you hang out with, the shampoo you use, the soap you use, perfumes you use, anything you put on your body, um, and so much more, so much more. So that's why it's a plant-based lifestyle people talk about. I'm sure most of you know that, um, but it doesn't just mainly focus on food. It focuses on your diet, your life as a whole, on how you live. And so it's very interesting when you start looking at the products that you grew up on using, um, you realize how damaging they are. So part of your health problems, if you have health problems, or it just the way you feel and everything, it contributes to that. If you're using stuff that we're not naturally really meant to use, you're creating a problem. That's not your diet. If it's not optimal, you're contributing to the pot, to the problem right there as a big part of it. But another part of it is the products you're using on your body, which makes total 100% sense. But when it's brought to your attention finally, and you look into it a little bit closer, you're like, oh my gosh, why am I using this stuff? So I know for me, for Miss Days here, guys, I have focused on trying to get my diet optimal uh, for many years. I know when I went raw vegan several years ago, um, I knew shampoo and soap and perfumes, nail polish, all of this stuff was part of the problem too. But at the time, I never, I wasn't ready to change all of that. I was just tackling food. So now over the past year, I have been researching off and on and now I'm finally ready. So just like with, like I've said before in my videos, and I'm sure you've heard from other health nuts out there too, is that when you're ready to make a change, you'll make the change when you're, when you're ready. Um, when you are ready to do it, that's when the change will come and happen. So it's to me, it's, al it's always been hanging on my mind like, oh, I really need to change this. I just never really could get to it and never put enough time into it yet because I was, I'm just so focused on getting the diet right. And now that I got a pretty good handle on uh, raw veganism and veganism, high raw and stuff, I'm good with moving on to the next phase of health. So for me, that means tackling my shampoo and soap. Um, I stopped wearing nail polish a long time ago. I used to wear nail polish like religiously like my mom did growing up. And um, I stopped doing that when I went raw vegan because I did know, I started learning more about nail polish and the effects it has. And yes, it's beautiful, but man, it's not healthy for your nails. It's not healthy for your body. So I stopped that a long time ago, so that's good. Threw all my nail polish out, or actually I gave it away um, and just don't have any more nail polish. So I just have a nail file to file my nails. Um, and then perfume. I used to wear lotions and perfume all the time. My mom used to sell Avon, so I would get a discount through my mom also. And it was always fun to pick out new scents and everything like that. And But then of course when I went raw vegan several years ago, I was like, ooh, this is not good. So I stopped all the pretty smelling lotions and um, perfumes um, for a long time ago. So I haven't really worn perfume at all and um, or used any lotions and even when I use lotion I even if it is sort of like a just like a just just to try it like a more healthier lotion like I just don't like it I don't like lotion on my body I don't like it um, even like when I go to coconut oil some people say rub coconut oil on your body and all the benefits of that and everything and I just I don't like that I don't like that so I don't like to use lotions or anything but perfume when it comes to perfume, I do like to spray perfume every once in a while. I'm not a big perfumey type person, but there are some very beautiful smells out there. I love the more powdery, light, floral, powdery smells. And um, if I do use perfume, I spray it on my clothes. I don't spray it on my skin. 
if there's body spray, which I don't buy at all, I stop buying body spray as well. Um, if I, it's given to me as a gift, I'll just spray it in the room or just spray it on my clothes just so I can get a little whiff of it, you know. But again, that's breathing in a chemical. Okay, that's breathing in a chemical. So you kind of want to limit your exposure to that. But again, for me, I'm not a big uh, perfumey body spray type person. If um, that's just like rare occasionally, really. So for me, I am going on the journey, starting my journey of the no poo journey, as they say. So no more shampoo, going more of a natural route. Because again, being more help, helping heal your body and staying healthy is by getting away from the conventional stuff we're used to using and all the chemical based stuff and using what we would find in nature and when you're in nature you wouldn't really you wouldn't be using lotion you wouldn't be using perfume i mean i think you'd be using you'd be smelling the flowers you'd be smelling plants for your perfume and um, of course there's other natural oils out there and everything that you can do from straight from the plants. But I think that's as far as the extent that we would go. But to start my journey though, just the first step to ease my way kind of into it is um, I know for no shampoo and um, the soap, so the soaps I used was like Caress and Dove and knowing now what I know about it from over the years of research and everything, I'm just like, oh, we gotta get off of this. It's time to get off of it now. So, um, so I've heard out there that for shampoo, there's a mix of water, lemon juice, baking soda, and apple cider vinegar. So I got myself some apple cider vinegar here. I got a bunch of lemons. I got a bunch of lemons over here. And so investing in a bunch of lemons, I wish I had my own lemon tree for this. So I'm like, okay, this will be good. If this works, when I move into a home, whenever that happens and I have a yard, I'm planting a lemon tree. So the lemons can be used for my meals and stuff, but also for part of the hairdo, you know. So when you're thinking of nature, where would you get baking soda and apple cider vinegar? You wouldn't, um, but you know, this is the first step a much healthier step towards using no shampoo. So I'm gonna take that route for now. And then I have also heard about Castile soap, and I think it's Jabobo, Jabobo or Jaboba oil, I think. Um, for me, I'm not a fan of the oils. Um, so no coconut, no coconut oil or oils for me. I'm gonna just kind of stay away from that right now. But um, also is aloe vera. Aloe vera sounds like, from what I've researched, is a really good like conditioner type thing. It's literally taking the plant and just rubbing it through your hair. So I think at one point I'm gonna try that and I'll definitely share that with you guys. Um, but I did make an order off of Amazon, so we're gonna do an unboxing here because I bought my ingredients and um, for, for, t for teeth and then for the hair. So let's go ahead and open this goodie box off. I did buy toothpaste, so toothpaste is going to be a whole different video. I definitely understand the benefits of having no fluoride in your toothpaste. And it's very interesting, I highly recommend you go listen to Lauren Lockman, what he has to say about mouth care and brushing your teeth. It is literally, yeah, a game changer, but it just shows you how important it is to eat optimally. The reason why we brush our teeth and all this stuff is because we're eating poorly. We're not eating what we're meant to eat. That's why we encounter the problems that we do and we, we encounter doing something that's unnatural. But again, this is my step to going more natural. So over time, I have tried other plant-based toothpaste. I've done some much older videos of the plant-based toothpaste that I have tried. There was one, it was more of like a clay base and it was really good, it was from Amazon, but I never really ended up buying that more often. So recently I found about this Hello brand. It's fluoride-free toothpaste, more natural, naturally friendly and everything. And it's really, really good. I loved it, so I'm finishing up my my 
first tube in there and off of Amazon I found a three pack for a little bit cheaper and so that's what I got there for toothpaste but definitely fluoride free and then I've got a big tub of unscented naturally thick Castile hand soap so this is the Castile soap I bought a big jug so it's cheaper on the wallet but also I can use it as a soap body wash but also experiment with another version of shampoo as well. So I am experimenting with different types of more natural shampoos. So a lot of them out there do, um, do include Castile soap, but I was looking at the ingredients in Castile soap and it is much healthier, but there is an, agree an ingredient or two where I am very skeptical about but it's, it's good for now. It's good for now until I take my next steps for sure. And then I'm going to try a version of European Clay Powder, the Now brand. Now I heard about this through Raw Synergy. I have followed her for a very long time. She is another person, raw food is out there. I have followed since I went raw vegan. Uh, several years ago. August 2013 is when I went raw vegan. That's when I found her as well. And Raw Synergy, she's wonderful. And she's tried some different no poo methods and everything. And she suggested this. She wanted to try a different route. Um, the apple cider vinegar and lemon juice, baking soda and water, that was working for her. Actually, she just did lemon juice and um, apple cider vinegar I think and water and it worked well for her but she wanted to try another route to kind of just experiment I guess and go even more of a healthier type of route if she could and she found out about this stuff so it's called European clay powder it comes in green and red so I watched the video I highly recommend you guys go watch the video as well because the red one, it kind of does leave your hair a reddish tint that she said. Um, she kind of, at the time, dyed her hair bl uh, a blondish color. So uh, that red showed up on the blonde highlight she had. Um, of course, if you're talking about going natural and what's healthy, dyeing your hair is definitely not there. But she's, as far as I know now, she doesn't have the, that blonde in her hair anymore. But, um, but I got the green version, and I guess it's super simple. That's all it is, is this European uh, clay powder. So you, I definitely want to try it as like a mask. I've never done masks before, but I'm curious. I would like to try it. Since I got it here, I'd like to do like a face thing and see what happens with the face. But definitely, it'll be mainly used for the hair, and she just loved it with what it did to her hair. So um, that is, I wanted to try this route as well. So I have this in my stock with me for when I'm ready to try it. And I'll definitely share it with you guys as well. All right, and that's all I got for my Amazon order. So I know um, right now I am using up the rest of my bad shampoo. I've got like one or two uses left. I'm just gonna use it up and then that's done and then I'm gonna start the new more healthier route now and I will share that journey with you guys too of course I also know there's like a dr. Broner's out there I've never tried his stuff I know that's a healthier route too um, but I wanted to just like jump into like the like really really healthy stuff too so I kind of went this route first but tell me what your guys's experiences are with no poo no shampoo and more healthier uh, brands or healthier products of um, you know shampoo perfume and all that stuff like that let let me know essential oils and all that let me know I'd love to hear it and everybody else would love to hear it too okay so remember to love being raw you guys put a big old smile on your face today I hope I did that for you uh, definitely love being raw vegan plant-based whole foods whatever floats your little bugs just remember to take care of yourself take care of yourself literally Always continue to grow, always continue to learn about new and improved ways of helping and improving your body. And it's just the better you're gonna feel, the better you're off you're gonna be for yourself, for the animals, this planet, everything around you is just gonna be way better off. Okay, you guys, so have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next video, okay?